guys, it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another drag inspired makeup tutorial. Today's any guesses besides are in the title? Today we're doing Adore Delano. Um, this was one of my favourite looks she wore in season 6 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, it wasn't that far in either. Um, can't remember the challenge or anything, but I have screenshots on my phone. Um, but this was so beautiful. She wore this on the runway. I think this was, no, this is the episode where they did the, the Scream Queen, see, not Queen, Scream Queen, what's it called? Anyway, um, this is the runway look that Adore did. I love this look. This like really graphic like white liner and then like a little crystal here, bit a lot of glow, beautiful big voluptuous glossy lips. I am just obsessed with it and I've been wearing this hairstyle literally for a week so um, I'm not gonna take it out because uh, Adore had bright red ready orange curly hair and we're not doing that. I got lipstick in my hair by the way, just thought I would point that out to you. I'm not going white. Okay, so if you want to find out how I created this beautiful Adore inspired makeup look, which I think is my favourite look I've ever created for these drag ones, then just keep on watching this video. Alrighty, starting off, we are going to be just filling in the brows just a little bit because I filmed two tutorials this day, so I had them already pre-done, if that makes any sense. So I just topped them up just a little bit. <laughs> now I'm going to carve them out using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and blend that out. This is my primer for my eyeshadow and then apply some powder on top of that so that the eyeshadows will blend seamlessly. Now I'm going to take my Morphe Dare to Create palette and the shade Evolve which is the darkest transition shade really in the palette and I'm just going to apply that using a base shadow brush from Real Techniques and just really buff that and wing it out. Not too much but enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> And then take the next colour hold, I'm going to look it up. It's called Deep Hue and I'm just going to apply that on a Morphe brush and just go a little bit over that. We really want to darken this look because we are going to put black, you're not going to see these browns at all. But then I'm going to take a clean brush and really, really smoke out that colour with no thing on it. Anyway, we've moved on. So <laughs> the next colour is called Muse, it's just a black shadow. And I'm taking a little liner brush or a little pencil brush really and I'm winging it literally I could almost connect my eyebrows that's how close I was winging it with this shadow um, and we are basically going to intensify this so much that it's not going to even look like a wing in the end so that's where we're going with this look this look is drag this look is very intense so if you're not into intense this ain't for you but I didn't know I was into intense until I did this <laughs> and then taking another clean brush just blending that together now I'm going to take a mix of the colors uh, trendy and forever from the morphe palette and I'm going to prepare for my glitter which goes on top now the trick here is, I learnt from Courtney Act, that you put your liquid liner on first and then you put your glitter on. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm doing my liquid liner now, literally just following that the, following the line of the shadow we just had. Yet again, I'm doing my voiceovers in one take. Very professional of me, I know. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my glitter glue, which is the Ben Nye glitter glue. It says it's not eye safe, but I've never had a problem with it, so <laughs> rebel. So I'm just putting that right over that ready purple shadow and then this is the purple MAC glitter. I got this and it is amazing. I have so many colours of it and it's really, really good. So keep an eye out for my Courtney Act tutorial. I'm using orange glitter in that one. Woo! Um, so I'm just using that on a flat shader brush from Morphe as well. And this glitter, oh my god, I didn't know how much I was into glitter. Like I loved glitter before, but I'm obsessed with it more, so expect that more on my channel. Sorry about it. And now I'm just going to take that Black Muse shade from the Morphe palette and really go ham sandwich on it. Really smoking out, like covering all that brown we did before. So if you really wanted to skip the brown, you could, but for me, I need to start with a transition. Anyway, each to their own, right? Right. So I'm just taking like a little pencil brushes from Crown Brushes, this brush, and really intensifying that black shadow. Like, make it as black as your soul. Like, <laughs> really really darken it up. Now I'm going to take my darkest foundation I own because I am self tanned. Um, I'm going to apply this all over like literally go ham sandwich with the coverage literally and then I'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender and then I'm going to go over it with my Morphe foundation brush. I would tell you what it was but I forgot what the, the numbers are so I'm going over that just to really you know work it into the skin. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and uh, using it to slim the nose down but also to conceal. Yes, I am doing multitasking. Woman, you're the woman. Woo! So, putting that on in all the places. Down the nose as well, 
cube as well, chin, and then you do that beautiful flower. I don't know what that is. I do it all the time, but I do. So there it is. And look at me. I learned how to do speed. Whoa. That took an, uh, a weird turn. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go there. This is my one takes. I didn't learn how to do speed. I meant speed it up on my computer. Anyway, moving on from that. That was a bit awkward. I'm just going to set that. I can't believe I said that. That's funny. Um, I'm going to put my Cody Espan powder on top of that and I love it. And now I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer and my R2 brush from Morphe. I think that's what this one is. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, and I'm going to bronze up my face. I still can't believe I said what I just said like five seconds ago. Anyway, <laughs> and then I'm going to further contour the face with my uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and another Morphe brush that I use for contour. Oh, this Kat Von D Palette if you don't have it, you need it. It is so good. So good. So good. And then I'm going to take my nose contour brush, which is another Morphe brush. I should really have all the names of them, but I don't. And I'm just going to snatch my nose using that Kat Von D Shade and Light palette as well. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade from the highlights and stamp it right down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to take my Drug Lord Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this is all eye safe. It's vegan. It's all good. So I'm going to use that on my waterline and then draw in my inner corner really. So make a new inner corner, just point it out a little bit longer than you have it naturally. And then go right underneath it and create that winged liner the way you've been taught to do it. <laughs> but literally just follow the black that we've just done and you will have yourself a beautiful white line under your eye. And then. I'm going to take my pencil brush and the black shadow we've been using all along and go right underneath that. So we have black, a black line, the white line, and then continued into black. And it's I'm literally using the littlest amount of black because I don't want it to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up, let's be real. So I'm literally just so effortlessly putting little pressure on my brush and building up the color until I get it to what you see now. And then I'm going to put my black coal eye pencil on top of that to intensify it even more. We went there. You could use liquid liner, but I didn't. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek blush. This is in colour Bliss, I believe, and a Morphe brush, and just apply that blush on. I love orange blush. I think it's fantastic. And this adorable liner look needs it. <laughs> And then I'm just taking some um, little crystals that you can get at a, like a dollar store, craft store, wherever, and just using some eyelash glue to glue it to my face. And it goes right where the corner of your eye is, where you would normally start the wing. And then I'm going to take my beloved Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and use the colour Forever Young and highlight the face on my cheeks, down my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, above my eyebrows, wherever you want to put highlighter, go for it. There is no wrong place to put a highlighter, just saying. Okay, moving on from that maybe, du, 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 du. I'm going to put on some mascara, I was ready with the lash and then I was like, oh I don't have mascara on, so putting on my Benefit Roller Lash to top and bottom, you need to put it on the bottom because you have white eyelashes and that's not the look. This is two pairs of Dodo Lashes D105s stacked together, this is a drag look, this is the most dramatic lash I have, so I stacked two of them on there and they're that's what I have. don't have any 301s because I'm not an actual drag queen. <laughs> and then I am using my BH Cosmetics Glitter Gel Eyeliner in the colour Synergy, which is a like iridescent, grainy, reflect kind of thing. You can't really see it on camera, but when I take a photo, it is so good. And I'm also putting it on as my brow bone highlight as well. I love, I love, I love doing this. I just like stuttered while I said I love, love, love. Anyway, whatever. Now I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in brown sugar and really go ham sandwich with the overlining. And then I'm going to take, you don't need to do this bit. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics Nathan. I thought that was a great match. It's not. So then I went over it with Hunty by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and that wasn't it either. So then I went over that with um, I'm Nude and that was what the look needed. And then I'm just going to apply some little pinky gloss. This is like a Tanya Burr gloss I believe. And then I would spray my face, but I wasn't keeping this look on for long, even though it's my favourite look I've ever created ever. So, awkward. <laughs> but then you just spray your face and this look's done, girl. And that's how you recreate this 
adore Delano inspired look. If you enjoyed it and you would like to see some more, let me know who would like to see it next and I will probably do it for you because I'm obsessed with it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Jump the gun, we got the boom boom bang. Jump the gun, we got the boom boom bang. Jump the gun, we got the boom.